Uh, what excites me most is to find the unexpected, to observe the unexpected. I'm a professor in electrical engineering associated with the uh, solid state electronic lab. Uh, my research, uh, my lab's research, is mostly related to uh, uh, photonic and optoelectronic applications. And we're also working on a lot on the nano manufacturing technologies, hopefully you know, one day to bring these uh, findings and discoveries to society. So where do we do our work? Um, we do it in the labs. Actually, um, a lot of my students in my group, they use uh, LNF, the Lorry Nano Fabrication Facility, uh, because so we need to make a lot of nano and micro scale structures, and that need a you know, good facility to fabricate these structures. This setup was done by my former student. Uh, this setup it looks like a printer, but what it does, it actually can print nano scale structures. Okay, can print structure down to 50 nanometer. So to, to give you an idea, our hair is about average, let's say, 50 micron size. Okay, 50 nanometer is a thousand times smaller. So with this type of machine, you can print uh, these type of uh, nanoscale structures continuously, just as if, if you're printing newspapers. So we created a, um, if you wish, a magic coating. Right? Uh, it's magic coating, what it does is that it can make an object uh, disappear or invisible in a dark background. Think about a, a, a black cloth that the magician uses, right? It can cover an object, but you still see that this object is there. But if you use uh, this coating that we created uh, using carbon nanotube materials, it basically uh, it will just appear to you as a black sheet of paper. It doesn't matter how large this object is. For instance, if you are to wear a coat made of nanotube uh, coating, well, people will, when people look at you, they just can perceive you as a piece of paper. Right? All the three-dimensional uh, structures or di attribute will, will become invisible or disappear. As a whole, uh, we got to think about how our research could eventually impact the society. That's where we get funded. We cannot just by publishing papers we got to be able to show that our research really worth something.